What's going on, y'all? It's the Caveman back at it again with another video. And this time around, we're going to be looking at something regarding the NFL and a team involved that I believe everybody that watches football is starting to unanimously realize and agree on. So if you're at the title, you already know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. And that is the Pittsburgh Steelers being the biggest frauds possibly in NFL history. So this team is 11 and 0. Now, when you see a team that is undefeated this far into the season, you got to think like this team is unreal. This team is stacked upon stacked upon stacked. They really don't come close to losing to anybody. They're undoubtedly the best team in the NFL and there's no question about it, right? That, that, that's what you would think when thinking of an undefeated team this far into the season. But actually, it's ironically the complete opposite. People think the Steelers suck. I think the Steelers suck. I like I when I tell you I don't even think they're a top five team, I genuinely mean it. I only would put them in the top five for the simple fact that I have to and that their record tells me I have to. I seriously don't think they're a top five talented team. Let's break shit down for us real quick. Now they have played 11 games and they have went 11 and 0. Seven of those wins have come against teams below 500. Four wins they have come against three teams that have records above 500. Two being against the Ravens, one being against the Titans, one being against the Browns. Um, I do think the game against the Browns, they definitely, it would definitely be a different game. They blew the Browns out of the water the first time they played them. And I definitely think it'd be a different game if they played again. Uh, it was That game was earlier in the season. They barely got away from the Titans by a field goal. And the Ravens, they beat twice in the second time they played against the Ravens practice squad and barely fucking squeaked away. And that was actually just this past Wednesday in our very first Wednesday afternoon game that I think has ever been seen ever. To be honest, the only team out of all of the 11 games they played, I, the only team I consider an actual threat to anybody is the fucking uh titans i don't consider the browns very good i think they're fraud i think they belong in the fraud conversation as well the ravens belong in the fraud conversation i mean lamar jackson can't throw the ball they're only winning games because their defense is absolutely stellar and the titans are the only team on this entire list that they did beat i'll give them credit they did beat them that has you know a very decent offense but also a very decent defense that is doing damage to also other good teams now and the Steelers just have not been able to do that or prove that to anybody and that's not their fault I mean they can only play who they are being told to play but for that fact it's just like 11 and 0 is a fake now you know what to their credit all the stats are there they're averaging 28 points per game only giving up 15 points against per game i mean all the statistics are there the solid wide receiver room their defense is their strong point they're so good on defense they really do have the pieces to be a very good team and they're not 11 and 0 by mistake you know the roster they have is definitely a roster that should be beating the teams that they're going up against but the whole point of the premise i'm talking about is they have to get to face a team that is a true challenge a team like the bills who they do come up and play against us quite soon i think it's two weeks from now they have got to play a team like the chiefs these teams that have high powered offenses that they have not been forced to keep up with before and i do think the steelers worst point of their team is their offense big ben for some reason just doesn't seem to have it anymore every throw he makes is like three yards downfield and it's like as soon as he gets the ball from the snap he just doesn't look the same he looks a little rattled back there he definitely seems like he doesn't want to get hit so he seems to just be getting the ball out super quick their wide receivers are very very good they have a bunch of they don't have a stud receiver but they have a bunch of very solid receivers and that's very that's playing to big ben's benefit because he can just kind of dump it off to whoever he feels like but yeah their offense regardless of the 28 points per game is definitely what's going to be the their downfall they won't be able to keep up with the best teams and their defense won't be able to hold a good team's offense to a low enough point where the Steelers are able to win the game. So I found this graphic on Twitter. I'll throw it up right here. And it was it's actually pretty funny. It says, you know, I'll just read it off because I think it's hilarious. The first game they play the Giants, they beat Daniel Jones. Wow, whoopee, what a surprise. They then they barely beat the Broncos, who are just absolutely abysmal this year. They beat Bill O'Brien. Now we all know the Bill O'Brien story. Then they beat Carson Wentz, who Carson Wentz has been on a roller coaster of a ride this year. And I, I feel bad for the guy, but he, he kind of sucks. Let's be real here. They beat the overrated Browns. Like I said, the Browns are frauds. Definitely deserve to be labeled as overrated. Then they were bailed out by the Titans, or bailed out by the refs against the Titans, which was also true. They... Uh, barely beat the Ravens the first time when Lamar Jackson can't even fucking throw the football. Barely beat the three night Cowboys who had a Garrett Gilbert at quarterback. They no Dak Prescott, no Andy Dalton, yet but Garrett Gilbert. And they barely beat him. I get it, it's a week to week league. Anybody can beat anybody at any time. Any player can make any play at any time. But if you're gonna claim that you're eleven and zero, but you're barely beating a three and eight team that has a four string quarterback at the helm, y'all got some issues. Then they also beat the two-wing Bengals. They beat Jake Luton. Oh, wow. Congrats. You beat Jake Luton. No Gardner Minshew. Was it even Gardner Minshew? You fucking beat Jake Luton. 
and then you barely beat the fucking practice squad Ravens this past week on Wednesday. They're frauds. That's about as simple as it gets. The, the Steelers do not belong in the top team conversation. There's just so many teams that they have yet to, or that they don't face that they will or they would struggle against if they played them. I mean, the Seahawks, the Rams, the Packers, I mean, the Saints, the Buccaneers, like they don't play any of these teams, the Bills, the Chiefs, like the Titans, the Titans were their best challenge and they're not even like, I wouldn't even consider them up that high. I would put the Bills, the Packers, the Chiefs, Rams at this point, and then the Saints or the, the Seahawks, the Seahawks have been a little shaky as of late, but those are the teams I would consider even above the Titans and the Titans have been their best competition so far. So they're going to wait. They're going to get a wake up call quite soon. And I can't wait for it. It's going to be against the fucking bills. And I cannot be more fucking ready for that game. So long story short, Steelers, you guys are a bunch of fucking frauds, man. You guys are going to wake up really fucking soon. You're going to get a nice pot of freezing cold water dropped right over your face when you're least expecting it and you guys are going to be fucking freezing and you're going to realize oh shit our team ain't what it seems to be steel curtain they made a steel no more it's made of fucking cotton the bills are going to go and they're going to beat your ass it's going to be the first team you have some actual competition against you guys are going to wake the fuck up real quick and i can't wait for it let me know what you guys think down below i know everybody thinks the steelers are a bunch of frauds except for steelers fans but i want to hear it anyway because i don't want the steelers to be successful anymore and i want the bills to beat their ass like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff i'll see y'all later in the next video peace out Thank <laughs> you.